Today we're going to look at a category that I like to call ID tools. Uh, several apps within this category, several very useful apps as a matter of fact. A few of them that I'd really like to point out, uh, the first and foremost for me is weed identification tools. Not being a weed scientist, I, I don't have a great ability to go out there and identify weeds on a very regular basis. So a nice tool, one comes from the University of Missouri called ID Weeds. This is the first app that actually came out where you could drop down identify morphologically a weed. So it's a very clean tool. You can identify, you choose plant type, whether it's a broadleaf or a grass, and then you select the habitat, the leaf arrangement, and it gives you options of what weed it may be. Another very, very nice app when it comes to weed identification tools comes from BASF, it's Weed ID very similar to the Missouri app that you can select options to find your weed. The one difference in this app is it uses images not just text. In this case you can see you choose a grass, choose the options of a folded, uh, all options, and a long ligule length. We show plants, in this case, it gives us the option of Coxfoot. Another very nice tool that I utilize quite a bit, especially being a soil fertility guy, is the IPNI's Plant Images. IPNI is the International Plant Nutrition Institute. Their plant images is just a collection of pictures of plants with nutrient deficiencies. Uh, very handy to use. They do not have an identification tool, but you can look at what different deficiencies look like on one crop. So if we select canola, we can see what boron deficiency looks like. Has some nice pictures of boron deficient canola plants, iron deficiency, and they have a very nice selection of crops and nutrients with a significant amount of images in all of them. On plant images, there is an option to go into symptomology. So if we're to select boron, it'll tell you where on the plant the symptoms occur and what you can look for in each of the plant species. The plant images is one of the few apps that I've actually paid for. It will cost a little bit of money, but if you are crop consulting or in fields quite often looking at plants, trying to diagnose problems, it's a very handy tool to have. The final app that I like to use is Pestbook. It is, a, it is an app that has images only and names of insects. It is not an identification tool, but it does allow you to look at insects and see images of them. Such as armyworm, it gives you the life cycle, it gives you the size. What should be noted on this app is it is Australian. This is not an American app. However, it's still quite useful as many as the insects trans, transfer across, such as a caught worm, the cut worm, the uh, millie bug and other insects. So the pest book is one of those apps that does not give you an opportunity to go through there and select different morphological features to figure out what kind of insect you have. Although it is still a very nice tool to have that you can show somebody the images of what to look for. If you tell an employee to be on the lookout for armyworm, you can go in, show them a picture of armyworm, and they know what to look for. To read more about these apps and others, see my blog at sunup.okstate.com.